Happy Resurrection Sunday, guys. Jesse here. Wanted to share with you two insights I had from the book of Zechariah, chapter 3, and connecting it to Resurrection Sunday. So let me just read Zechariah, chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. It says, Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan, standing at his right hand to oppose him. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a brand plucked from the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and was standing before the angel. And he answered and spoke to those who stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, See, I have removed your iniquity from you, and I will clothe you with rich robes. And I said, let them put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head and they put the clothes on him and the angel of the Lord stood by. So a couple of things here. This is from Zechariah, a book that we don't often read. Uh, Personally, you know, these are books that I'm not as familiar with as other books. And uh, I was just reading it this morning because I was like, you know what? I, I should read these books, these minor prophets and really be aware of what they're... A couple things that stuck out to me that relate to Resurrection Sunday is number one, um, it says, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord rebuked Satan. And you see, that's what happened when Jesus died on the cross. It was the biggest rebuke to Satan that we've ever seen. Colossians chapter two says, when Christ died on the cross... It says in Colossians chapter 2 that when Christ died on the cross, he nailed all of our sins. It says he took the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. So all the record of all of our sins, you know, if God was to keep a record of it, it would probably be extremely uh, extremely long, extremely long record of debt, right? And he took that record of debt, nailed it to the cross. And he ripped that paper in half saying, this record no longer has any effect. This record of sin, because Jesus eradicated it. And also, it says in Colossians 2 that he disarmed the rulers and authorities and the demonic principalities and he triumphed over them in him. He just defeated the darkness, right? In that day, um, the veil was torn, the darkness was defeated and Satan was rebuked. Satan was rebuked when Jesus ran again. The word rebuke means, you know, he was, he was denied, right? He was pushed away, forced out. Satan was forced out of the power that he had when Jesus rose again. And now Jesus has given us this power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. So Satan was rebuked that day, Easter, Resurrection Sunday, when Jesus rose from the dead, rose from the dead, the Lord rebuked Satan. Because now all men can come to Christ and find everlasting life in such a special way. The second thing we see is the new garments. So number one, Satan was rebuked. Satan was defeated on the cross. But also, we as believers, we gain new garments. It says that Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. You know, the Bible says that our good works are like filthy rags before the Lord. They will never earn our way to heaven. We cannot earn our way up by trying hard enough, doing good enough, because we still fall short of the glory of God. But then it says that the Bible says um, in Zechariah that we're, um, he said, take away the filthy garments from him. And he says, see, I have removed your iniquity from you. So iniquity is connected to the filthy garments. And it says, I will clothe you with rich robes. Verse five. And I said, let them put a clean turban on his head. And they put a clean turban on him. So what God did here is he took away the filthy garments. He took away our sin and he clothed us in the righteousness of Christ. He clothed us with salvation. He clothed us with um, his forgiveness. So I just want to read Isaiah 61. It's a parallel uh, passage. And it says in Isaiah uh, chapter 61. Let me just... Find it. Give me one second, guys. Isaiah 61. It says in verse 10, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. 
For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, as a bride adorns herself with jewels. As the earth um, brings forth its bud, as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to uh, spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. So it says here in Isaiah that God clothes us with his righteousness. He clothes us with his salvation. He clothes us with his forgiveness. And so that's what it's talking about here in Zechariah 3, that Christ is clothing us with um, his righteousness, right? Righteousness simply means you're right with God. And what Jesus did for on the, us on the cross makes us right with God if we believe in him. John 1, 12 says, to all who did believe on him and received him, he gave them the right to become children of God. So the two things that Jesus did for us this Resurrection Sunday to remember is though Satan was rebuked, the Lord rebuked Satan and he clothed us in righteousness. He took away our iniquity and he clothed us with salvation. We have new garments, no longer filthy garments, but garments of righteousness because we are a royal priesthood a holy nation, a people for his own possession. So we should rejoice this day. This is an amazing day to celebrate what Jesus has done. God bless.